In this tutorial, I'll show you how to package and zip an InDesign file. The reason you package up files is if you need to share your files with a printer, you need to share your files with someone else in your office, you want to make sure that all the images, the fonts, everything is placed together in a folder. So if someone else were to edit it, they have all the things they need in one place. So to make a package file, go to File, Package. This pop-up box shows you some information about your files. If you have any images that are missing or not linked, you will see those noted here. You also see the color space of your graphics and your images. We're not setting this up for print, so I'm not worried about the color space of my images. All right, I'm gonna click Package. You might get a pop-up box that says, says Save. Make sure to save it. And this is just asking, where do you want your, your packaged folder to live? So I will choose here. You do have some options down below about what to include. We do want to include an IDML file. That is a compatibility file that allows people to open this file with previous versions of InDesign. And we do want a PDF. You can choose what kind of PDF it will include in the package. I'm just gonna keep it at high quality print. So click package and it's gonna run and it's going to put all of your files in one folder. So now I've navigated to that file on my computer and let's look at what all it included. So here it has my InDesign file. So it places an InDesign file in the folder for you. There's a PDF and their IDML file, which is our compatibility file. All of your images are in this links folder and then document fonts are also in the folder here. If I were to send this to a colleague, they should be able to open this and it should be able to open and then see all of the graphics, all of the images, everything they need should be here. One note about fonts, if you are sharing this with someone that does not have Adobe Creative Cloud, they may not have access to the fonts that you used in your document. Or if they do have Creative Cloud, they might need to activate the fonts in their Creative Cloud account to be able to see the fonts in the document. That's just because these fonts are owned by Adobe Creative Cloud, and so we are just borrowing and using them for our project. Anyone that opens this file will also have to do the same. They will have to borrow the fonts to see them in the project. And if you needed to send this to someone, the last step would be you can um, compress or zip this file up. So on a Mac, I can right click with control click and say compress. And it creates this nice zip folder that I can easily email or upload to a file uploader. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to Cry Studio for more InDesign and graphic design tutorials. Thanks so much.